At long last, we don't have to do anything anymore. Over the past few months, lots of tools have announced their integration with AI, like Adobe, Notion, Spline 3D, Framer, Wizard, and even Figma has AI plugins already. Out of all of these, I think Spline AI and Framer AI are the most interesting currently. You can make whole amazing websites just using these two without writing a single line of code. That is, if we ignore frame or motion. Plus, I use these tools all the time. So, <laughs> better check them out and consider the risks of losing my job, right? By the way, quick question. Which one of these boxes do you guys think is better to live in? Spline is currently one of the few 3D design platforms that allow you to generate 3D textures using AI. There are AI rendering add-ons for Blender, but Spline is web-based and more compatible for web design. So far, we can generate styles with a text prompt, or based on one of the preset styles. Or we can generate textures from a text prompt. And it's currently only available with a subscription. Do I think it's worth it? Yeah, sure. If you're going to work in a team or use all these other features, but for the AI texture generation and AI style transfer, I think it might be a bit too early. There's currently a waitlist for the 3D model AI generation based on text prompt, and I'm more excited for that. On the other hand, we have Framer, which uses the OpenAI API to generate a responsive UI for any text prompt. Basically, you can describe any web, I mean, a web page, and it will generate it right before your eyes. Why not any web page? Well, here's why. Most videos about it are showcasing a portfolio with Framer AI. And luckily for us, we'll all get to have the same layouts and styles for our portfolios. Phew, so that's out of the way. But what about an e-commerce site, a product showcase, a blog, a landing page for a software or app? I tried all these categories and honestly, you can just see they all have somewhat the same layouts. Beside the fact that it misses out on a couple of details I specify each time, I can't really consider this design a finished product because, well, the images and copies are all generated by AI. And even though they might sound really good, remember that so far AI uses the same patterns, wordings, and layouts again and again across thousands of these generated interfaces. So before you know, this layout is going to be everywhere. Besides, we can see patterns repeated over and over. Huge texts and hero sections, bento boxes, and lots and lots of white space. It's true that these are all recent UI trends, so we can't really put the blame on AI now, can we? But we conduct some research. We don't make an application showcase website in the same style as a bakery website. I think this is exactly where we come in. As designers and developers, as humans, we can use these tools for inspiration and assistance. But that's where these tools start and end at being nothing more than tools. I think Framers is still one of the best no-code solutions to make in a website, but we still have a lot to wait and see on the matter of AI. So what do you guys think? Is this the future you wanted for UI or not? And that's all for this video. By the way, I wanna thank you guys so much for the support you've been giving me. I want you to know that all your love and support counts and is appreciated. We are just starting out and I'm kind of trying to get a hang of this whole upload a schedule thingy for now. So thanks for sticking around. If you like this video, Make sure you do your magic down there and see you on the next one.